Hi everyone, it's Nancy Vastine and I'm coming today to do my journal page and I'm going to do the Mike Deacon's Mission Inspiration for January. So let's just get started. I think I have everything ready. It's, I hope I do. I tried to be prepared today. Let's see, get me a brush. I need a paper towel. I'll just use this cloth here. And get me a brush out of this water for gluing. A glue brush. And the first one is to apply pattern under paper or tissue paper. So, and I'm using my um, Delusions journal here. And I'm using Mod Podge for, or Decoupage for paper. And we're going to just put some stuff down here. And this is um, deli paper that I painted that I'm using here. So... I'm just going to go ahead and put this down and I'll be back when I'm all finished with this because you guys don't really need to watch me paste papers. I'm sure you all know how to do that and I'm just going to do it step by step and then I will be back when I'm finished, okay? Thanks guys. Okay, it's all nice and dry. Now our next step is to cover with a thin coat of gesso. And I've got my little palette. My, my husband's coffee lid. Hang on, I need a drink. This is thirsty, thirsty work here. And I have a little bit of gesso here. I'm going to put some in here and spray some water in it. Don't need much. Water that down a little bit. Oh my gosh, this brush is all stiff and hard. Needs to be soaked. Well, I guess I'll use one of my new brushes. I'll use this one. It's brand new. I think it needs a little more water. Can you see what I'm doing over here? Yeah, I'm in frame. Just gonna... Put some gesso on here. Maybe I need a little more.
push this back to the background. I think that's what he wants us to do is push this back. My page got crinkly. Maybe I need a little more just so because I use pretty bright colors. Well, come on, just so. Goodness. That's probably too much. Never can get the right amount. There, that's better. guys I'll be back when this gets dry okay we are dry now the next step is to use at least two rubber stamps I have a couple of background stamps here from Andy Skinner and I have some uh, background stamps of Dina Wakely and I like both of these so we're going to try some of these. And I'm just going to use some stays on stamp or stays on ink. And I'm not going to use a stamping block. I'm just going to put them on. background stamp of his. I like those. I'll move those out of the way. You get ink all over our hands. This one is just a uh, scribble background. get some marks on here. I 
And I like this circle one of hers. I like to just use pieces of this. Alright, I think I got enough stamps. What do you think? I'm liking that. Yeah. Now the next one is to add torn strips of book text. But this is stays on ink, so I need to dry this up just a little bit. I got some book text here. It's out of a dictionary. I'll use a little bit of this. That's probably enough. lost my thing. It went away. There it is. It came back. I have it on my computer screen and it went away. Alright, let me get my brush out of this water again. And we'll glue this paper strips on here. This page is going to be heavy when it gets done with all this paper I'm gluing on here. It's going to be a fat page. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband talking on the phone. I think that one's going to stay down. We shall see. It wants to turn, I guess. It doesn't want to be that way. I should just let it be how it wanted to go. Alright, guys. That's all of that I'm going to put on there. And I will be back as soon as this is dry. And the next one is to add three collage elements. So maybe I'll just add those now. Because that's the next step. So why dry this if I'm just going to put more glue down, right?
This one does not want to stay down. So we'll flip it over and glue it this way. There we go. I did my paper, tissue paper, covered with a thin coat of gesso. I used at least two rubber stamps and tore strips of book text and add. Now this one is to add three collage elements. Okay, I have my three collage elements here. I have more than three. I have to see where I want to place these here. I thought I had more than three. Oh, I do. Maybe I'll just use this one. that one and the purse. Just use three. Okay, put that one down right there. Put this one right here. That glue is just kind of bubbling up. I know I was probably supposed to scrape this with a credit card. Oh well. And we're going to put this one right up here. The next one is to add three colors on my choice. So I need to go and make sure these are all dry before I add any color and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got my three colors in my palette. I got this all dry. And so now we are going to add some color to our page, as if it doesn't have enough on it. And I'm going to use some Punchinella, and I'm also going to use a stencil of Dilutions. It is the Honeycomb Large. It's... Um, it's just Dilutions. It doesn't say whether it's Venus or it's Diane. So, I'm going to put that on here and I'm going to put some paint down. 
and I got my little sponges here and I'm gonna go to town with some paint Now, let's put some Punchinella on here. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit right here, maybe. And a teeny bit up here in this corner where you can't see me. Okay, I've got my three colors on there. Now, let's see, what's our, oh, we have to make some marks with white or black paint. So let me dry this. get some black paint. This is Dina Wakely. Oh, too much. And what happened to my little... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I lost my circle makers. What happened to them? See guys, I was all prepared, but now I've lost my circle makers. Hang on. They were right here. I knew I had them. But I'll find another one real quick. Maybe. This always happens to me. Always. 
every time I, I get prepared and I had it right there, Okay, well, I found one. I found one, but I would really like my other one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to pull a cap off of one of my spray bottles. Alright, I'm going to wet this black paint down a little bit. some black marks. enough. I'm going to have to try the whoops. Didn't mean for you to hear that. Okay, I'm going to dry this up. friends shop alone and I'm going to put some distress ink on that let's see which ones do I have This is the one I want, and I hope 
because they have been tipped over and the lids have come off. I hope it's not dried out. I'm going to be really upset with myself if I've let that happen. I want this uh, vintage photo. I want to kind of darken it up a little bit. I don't want this stark white paper. I want it just like that and I think I want to place it right here and I need to dry that up a little bit because it's going to run because these are not permanent mark permanent to get some not I don't know if this decoupage or if I should use matte medium dilemma dilemma I'm going to use the Liquitex Matte Gel just because I put that um, in its on cardstock also. I think that's better for that is that matte matte gel liquitex now the next prompt is to add doodles with black or white or both
So, I'm going to get my Posca pens out. And I have my white one, but I don't have my black one real handy, so I have to look for it. That's the big one. This is a shame, huh? I should have these separated out. There it is. I'm going to the dollar store when it warms up. It's been sub-zero temperatures here, and I don't want to go out in it because I, I, it takes my breath away and it hurts my lungs. And but one of these days when it warms up to about 40, I'm going to go out and get me some baskets to put my pasta pens in. So I'm going to do some doodling. I'm just going to outline around. And that's not dry. Okay guys, I'm going to go and do my doodling and I'll be back when I'm finished and let you see it before I do the next step. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back with... Hang on. I'm back with the doodles. I've done my doodling and finished up and everything. Now it's the end is in the splatters drips or splatters so I don't like doing either one of these but I'm gonna try I'm gonna I've got some white dilutions spray in here I just poured it out and I'm gonna use my fan brush and kill my page I think and splatter. Oops. See, I don't know how to do this very good. I don't ever do it. Oh! Too much. Too much. Gotta get that off. Oh. I just ruined it. I just ruined my page, guys. I just ruined my page. Was too many splatters. Okay. I got it off. Phew. All right, let's try this again. All right, I think that's all I'm going to do. All the splattering I'm going to do. That's it, guys. So there's my page. Um dry it up a little bit. So anyway, I hope you like it and thanks Mike for uh, doing this and the del and the prompts that you give that was it was fun doing it I'm I'm glad you're doing this and I'm glad I'm on board with it because I really needed to get back into my journaling and I needed 
some prompts to help me do this. So thanks, guys. Alrighty, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.